so very sweet. First up, robot vacuum cleaners. They sound like something from the future. What are they? <laughs> I guess they kind of are. I mean, it's something we've always dreamt about, right? Not having to get the, the vacuum out of the cupboard and do it ourselves. Unfortunately, we probably are going to need to, but robot vacuums are great for the daily task of just keeping on top of the dust and a little bits of food you might have dropped in the kitchen. Um, so you aren't having to get the hoover out every day. And are they easy to set up? Because they sound quite scary. How do I make sure that they're working and don't fall down the stairs, those kind of things? I think they've got a lot easier um, to use over the, you know, they, they kind of came out a few years ago and they're a little bit more complicated, um, but they are getting easier. The good thing is you can get reasonably priced ones that don't really require any setup whatsoever. You can just plonk them down and let them go. Um, they will bump into walls and realise they can't go that way and they'll turn around and they'll take a bit more of a random approach to, to what, what you, your room. Um, the more expensive ones, they have sensors and cameras so they can map out your room. They come with apps so you can tell them not to go in certain areas and things like that. So they'll take a little bit more setting up but they are more advanced and will do a better job. And are there any houses that they really don't work in? I'd say make sure you've, you're giving it a clear floor as much as possible. It's ha happy to work around, they're usually happy to work around tables and chairs and even they can go under sofas and under like uh, furniture, so sideboards and things like that. Um, so on the whole, you know, they, they'll work with what you give them. Um, and so yeah, the better environment you give them, the better job they'll do. And what about different floor materials? So thick rugs, carpets, do they tackle those well? Again, it is kind of the price point that you, um, you're able to, to go to with robot vacu vacuums. Uh, if the rugs aren't too thick pile, then even the cheaper ones will be able to manoeuvre from a hardwood floor onto a rug. If they're really thick, then they are probably going to bump into it, think it's an object and, and move on. Whereas the more expensive ones will actually recognise that it's a rug and will even up their kind of speed so they have the momentum to, to launch themselves onto the rug um, and, and they'll know the difference um, between the, the, the floor and the rug for how they need to you know, approach the cleaning. And when it comes to price point, what should we be looking to pay for a robot vacuum? So price point for robot vacuums um, has got a lot lower. Um, you can get them for as little as sort of £80. Vileda have, have uh, launched one. Um, it's very basic but you know you can get it at that. I'd say probably you're looking under 300 for a basic budget one but you can spend up to £800 uh, on the ones with all the bells and whistles. If you spend that little bit more then you're going to get one that can give you that slightly better, slightly deeper clean. Now I'm a little bit OCD and they look very small, like they don't look like there's a lot of room for them to suck stuff up and store it. So do they only work for really like one room or for a 10 minute clean, not for a really deep clean? So uh, on average you'll get a battery that will last between one and one and a half hours, that's even the budget ones. The more expensive ones can go to sort of two hours um, and the more expensive ones will send themselves off if, if they are doing a, if you have got a very very big house uh, they will send themselves off to their hub they'll park themselves charge and then carry on the clean if they haven't been able to the cheaper ones might just stop in the middle of the floor so you might come home and just find it. it's just given up in the middle of the floor um, in terms of the the size of the bin that they're able to store uh, the cheaper ones will have the smaller bins the more expensive ones will have the bigger bins um, I think on the whole, if you're looking for to be able to do several cleans before you empty it, I think on average 600 millilitres is a good sort of bin size to look for. Um, but, you know, if you're not having to do the vacuuming, I guess just emptying the vacuum doesn't take too long, I guess. So we can, uh, we would be able to do that after every clean. It wouldn't be too much of a hassle. Brilliant. After dinner times, just let that pick up all the crumbs for you and you don't have to do it. It does sound like a very good investment. Definitely. And also people with pets, you know, the, the you know dog and cat hair. Again, you might want to spend a little bit more on the ones that are going to be better at picking that up, but just staying on top of things like that. So you're not having to do it every single day or not, or not feeling bad if you don't get around to doing it every single day. You know the robot vacuum's got your back. <laughs> That's brilliant. Thank you so much, Verity. I think we've proved robot vacuum cleaners perhaps aren't as scary and from the future as you might think. So join us next time. I'm Verity will be telling us all about smart home security cameras.